In this video, we will learn how to track custom events, for example, clicks on menu items with Google Analytics 4 and Google Tag Manager. Hey, my name is Julius and welcome to Analytics Mania YouTube channel, where you can learn Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics. And if you want to stay up to date with Google Analytics 4, consider subscribing to this channel. Google Analytics 4 is an event-based analytics platform. And in this video, I wanted to focus a bit on a particular type of events, custom events. In this video, I will show you how to configure them with Google Tag Manager and send to GA4. This video is a part of a much larger tutorial where I explain various types of event tracking with Google Analytics 4. So if you want to understand the entire picture, including automatic events or recommended events, I will post a link to that tutorial below the video. All right, so let's dive in. Event tracking in Google Analytics 4 is not a quick topic to explain, let's say in less than 10 minutes. That's why if you want to learn the full picture, if you want to know about different types of events, then I will post a link to a blog post below this video. And also I will post a link to another video tutorial that will show you in depth how to track events with Google Analytics 4. But to better understand the topic of this video, I'm talking about custom events. Here is a brief overview of event tracking in Google Analytics 4. Currently, there are four types of events automatic events. So this is automatically tracked by Google Analytics for tracking code, for example, session started, then there are enhanced measurement events. So these are events that you can enable in the GA4 interface. And then you will automatically track things like scrolling, outbound link clicks, file downloads and other events. I'm talking about this functionality that you can enable in the web stream settings. And you can find those settings by going to the admin and going to data streams. Then there are also recommended events. So these are not automatically tracked, but it is recommended that if you have some event and that event is mentioned in the list of recommended events, then Google Analytics suggests that you should name those events and use the parameters exactly as Google Analytics 4 instructs. That way Google Analytics 4 will better understand what kind of data are you sending to Google Analytics 4. If you want to track some events on your website and send them to Google Analytics 4, and those events are not covered by automatically tracked events, enhanced measurement, or recommended events, then you can create custom events. So this means that you can name them whatever you want. I mean, there are still some limitations and some rules. For example, there is a length of the name limitation, which is max 40 characters. But what I meant is that you can name them whatever you want. It might be form submission or contact form submission or something else, like whatever is relevant for your business. By the way, I will post the link to this page below the video as well. So let's say that we want to track link clicks on the menu item of the website, and we want to send them as events to Google Analytics 4. First, let's take a look at what kind of data can we get with Google Tag Manager related to menu item link clicks. So let's say that I will click the second link, which is catalog. I click it. And when I go to the preview mode, I will see that the link click has appeared in the preview mode of Google Tag Manager. If you don't know how to enable the preview and debug mode, you should go to Google Tag Manager interface, then click preview. And then in a new tab, you will see a view like this. Here you need to enter the URL of the page where you want to enable your preview mode. Once you do that, click start and your website will be opened in a new window or a new tab. And now let's go back to the example with the link click tracking. Even though I don't have any link click triggers in my container, the link click tracking is available and it's seen in Google Tag Manager preview mode because I have enabled the link click tracking in the enhanced measurement of Google Analytics 4. So if you are seeing the link click event right here, that is a good news because you will be able to track the menu items right here. I mean, actually, maybe on your website, they will look differently. But if you don't see the link click event right here, this means that you have disabled the enhanced measurement in your Google Analytics 4. And you don't have any link click triggers enabled in your container. So if you have enabled at least one of them, then you will start seeing link click events right here. So once I click the link click event in the preview and debug mode, and then I go to variables, I should be looking for some click related variables, but I don't see any. That is why I need to go to Google Tag Manager. I need to click variables. And in the built in variable section, I need to click configure and enable all the click related variables right here. 
then close and when the loading saving disappears then I should refresh the preview mode once again so I click the preview button again and then I go to let's say to the catalog and in the preview mode of Google Tag Manager I see that the link click has occurred and in the variable section we have some information about the click. I can see that it might be useful for us to have the click text or the click URL. Maybe click URL is a better option because if someone goes to your website and then uses the browser's translate feature, the click text value will change, but the click URL will remain as it is. So let's say that we want to track click URL. I mean, we want to send this value to Google Analytics 4. And also we need something that will help us to distinguish that the click that happened on a website is not just any click, but actually the click that is related to the top menu right here. So let's say that I will click one link, then another link, then another link, and you will see a bunch of link click events in the preview and debug mode. One link click, the other link click, one more link click actually. It's missing, not sure why. Let me just click once again. Okay, so now I have a bunch of page views and on every page view there is a link click. So I click the first one and I see that the variable called click classes, it contains the following value, nav link, site nav link main. So nav link, in this case, this means navigation link or in other words, menu link. Then if I click the next link click event, so this was clicked on another menu item, which was called blog, we see the same value right here. Then if I go to another link click, the same value. And here, the same value. So what we could do that we could use this click classes variable as a way to distinguish the click and identify that the click was precisely on one of the menu items on the website. So what could I do is that I could, let's say, copy this part, which is site, nav link, main, I can copy without any spaces or without quotation marks. And I will use that in a trigger within Google Tag Manager. So I should go to Google Tag Manager, I go to triggers, and now I will create a trigger which will instruct Google Tag Manager to fire a tag. Well, of course, I will create a tag a bit later, but that trigger will instruct to activate a tag when a link was clicked and that link contained that very particular click class. So go to triggers. By the way, I have these triggers from some previous tutorial, so please ignore that. Then click new, trigger configuration, just links, and then some link clicks, click classes contains this part. So if the link that was clicked contains this value, then Google Tag Manager will presume that that link is a menu link. Then let's name the trigger and click save. Then let's go to tags and create a new tag for the menu link click event. Then go to tags, new, tag configuration, GA4 event, then select our configuration tag. And then in the event name, you can enter whatever you want. But looking at the recommended events or automatically tracked events in Google Analytics 4, it looks like the best naming convention, I mean, like actually the syntax of events could look like this all lowercase letters and words are connected with the underscore, something like this. If you enter uh, some uppercase letters or some spaces, that will work fine as well. But the data looks a bit more structured and cleaner if you follow the naming convention, I mean, the actual principles of naming of Google Analytics 4. So that's why I would recommend entering all lowercase and connected with the underscore. This is also known as snake case. Then let's say that we want to send some additional custom parameters together with this event. For example, maybe we want to send the name of the menu item, I mean the text, and also we want to send the URL of that item. If we take a look at Google's documentation, you will see that they already recommend some of the parameters such as link classes, link URL, link text. But let's say that in this case, we are not going to use that one. Instead, I just want to show you how to configure totally custom parameters with your event. So let's say that we want to send menu link text and menu link URL. That's why we should go to event parameters right here and then expand it and then click add row. Now we're going to enter the first custom parameter. And then enter one more parameter, which will be menu 
item name. So this will be the text of the menu item. In that case, we can use two variables that are built in Google Tag Manager. So when we clicked any menu item, we had two variables that contain some information such as click text, which is the text of the link and then the actual link. So we could use this as an menu item name and then this one as a menu item link. Once again, you could use the recommended parameters such as link text or link URL. That's just fine. Right now, I'm just showing you a general process how to create custom parameters. So speaking of menu item URL, you could click this button to insert a new variable. And here we will choose click URL. So this will return the URL of the menu item. And then in this field, we will enter click text. If you want to track a custom event and you want to send more than two parameters, that is absolutely fine. You can send five or 10 or 20. At the moment of recording this video, it is allowed to pass up to 25 custom parameters with a single event. Maybe in the future that limit will be lifted, I don't know, but right now that is the limit. In fact, you should always refer to a page where you can find the up-to-date list of configuration and collection limits in Google Analytics 4. As always, this link will be available in the description of the video. All right, so let's go back to our Google Tag Manager container. We have configured the event. When this event is sent, together with that event, we will send the click URL and click text. And these are the parameter names that will be displayed in Google Analytics reports a bit later. And then in the triggering section, we should click anywhere or on this pencil icon and then choose the link click menu item trigger. Finally, let's name the tag and click save. Now it's time to test. Click the preview button once again to refresh it and then click one menu item, then another, then another and so on. So I have clicked two menu item links this is the first one and I see that my tag has fired. Oh, actually this was the second click. The first click was here. I can click on the tag and if I switch to values, I can see what kind of value was sent. And I can see that the name of the event was this and parameters were these two parameters, one parameter and then the second parameter. Now let's go to the debug view of Google Analytics and check whether that event was received by Google Analytics 4. Then I go to Google Analytics I go to debug view and then I see that my event has not been received yet. So I don't know, maybe we can refresh the preview mode once again. Click the link here and click the link there and maybe here and then go back to the debug view of Google Analytics once again. And only after a while that information, I mean that event started to appearing in my debug view. In fact, I had paused the video maybe for like five minutes or so, and only then the menu click events started to come in. So I'm not sure in this case whether this is going to happen always like that, or maybe this is just a temporary bug that will be fixed at some point in 2020. I'm not sure about that. Anyway, so when I find the menu click event right here, I can click it, and then I will see two additional parameters that I sent to Google Analytics. One is menu item name, and that is name of the link. And then this is the URL of that menu item that was clicked. So once you start seeing your custom event and custom parameters right here, that is a good sign, that's a good thing. And then after 24 hours have passed, you will start seeing your events in the all events section of your Google Analytics reports. At the moment, I don't have any events. Maybe you don't have any as well. So that's why the list is empty. But after 24 hours or a bit earlier, you will start seeing your events right here. This includes events like uh, scroll that is coming from enhanced measurement, maybe some recommended events, and also your custom events will be displayed here as well. Here I have another test property of Google Analytics 4. And here we see some events that are coming from enhanced measurement and also are automatically tracked by the tag, for example, first visit or session start. And here is yet another property where in the list of all events, you can also see some custom events that I have sent to Google Analytics for and menu click is one of them. So if I wanted to see more data about the menu click, I could click this event right here and some reports would be opened. 
Although at the moment of recording this video, the basic reporting capabilities in Google Analytics 4 are still quite limited. Maybe in the future they will be improved. One more thing that is related to custom parameters. If you want to use your custom parameters that you send together with events in your reporting, then you will need to register them as custom definitions. In other words, if I want to use the menu item URL and menu item name custom parameters in reports, I have to go to all events section and then click manage custom definitions button right here. And then when I click that button, I need to create custom dimensions right here. And if you want to create custom metrics, you should switch to custom metrics right here. But right now I am interested in creating two parameters. So this is custom dimension and let's click create custom dimensions. And then I need to enter the parameter name. Since I have sent two custom parameters with the menu click event right here, which are menu item URL and menu item name, I need to create them as custom dimensions in the Google Analytics 4 property. And you don't have to wait for 24 hours or so just to enter that parameter name. If you know what the parameter name will be, and in this case, we definitely do, then you can just enter them in the Google Analytics 4 interface. So let's copy this parameter name and enter it like that, save it, and then let's create another custom dimension copy the second parameter name and then enter it like that. Now we have registered both custom dimensions and within 24 hours, they will start appearing in your reports of Google Analytics 4. This is a necessary step if you want to see these parameters as dimensions in your Google Analytics 4 reports. And once again, keep in mind that these changes will take time up to 24 hours. And once you click that event, then you will start seeing additional cards for those parameters right here. Because if you don't register them as custom dimensions, you will not be able to see this card or this card in the report of menu click. I really hope that in the near future, Google Analytics 4 will introduce more capabilities for basic reporting features in the interface. Because right now, what I have found is that you can find these custom parameters in the report of that individual event you can also find custom parameters in places like, let's say analysis and analysis hub. And then if you go to exploration, you will be able to find those custom dimensions in the list of dimensions right here. So for example, I can add this to my report as well. But keep in mind that in this video, I am focusing solely on the setup and sending data to Google Analytics, not on reporting or analysis. So. Maybe that is a topic for another video in the future. By the way, speaking of reports where you can see your event data in general, there is another section in the GA4 interface. You can go to engagement and then events. And right here, you will see some data about your events as well. But as I've said before, this video focuses more on data collection, not data visualization or analysis. So I just wanted to give you like quick pointers where you can find that data, but in general, I hope that in the future, the reporting capabilities will be better in Google Analytics 4. And in the meantime, you can see some more basic data right here. Also, you can do your own research and find out how to analyze this data with BigQuery or Google Data Studio. And that is how you track custom events with Google Analytics 4. If you want to measure events that are not automatically tracked by GA4 or are not in the list of recommended events, then just enter any event name in Google Tag Manager's GA4 tag and it will work. Well, of course, as long as that event name is not too long. And keep in mind the limit of 500 unique event names per property. So don't create too many distinct events. Also, don't forget to register custom parameters in GA4 interface if you plan to use them in Google Analytics 4. If you found this video useful, hit the thumbs up button below the video because it helps me continue working on this channel. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager or Google Analytics 4, consider subscribing to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video.